Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation. We have x to the fourth equal to 3 to the x. And on the first side this is like easy equation. We have 4, we have 3, so it's like close numbers, it's not like a huge numbers. We have not a complicated, a long expression. We have x to the fourth, 3 to the x, so it looks like kind of we can easily solve it by inspection. We can easily check this uh, root from 1 to 5, for example, we can easily check it. But this is more complicated question, as you can see because we have uh, x right here as a base and x right here x as exponent so it's it's really hard to solve it by inspection okay but how can we solve it first of all let's try to simplify it step by step and we will find our answer okay okay and of course in in two or three minutes i'll solve it and of course i will give you a really interesting advices and really interesting tricks to this to this question. First of all, we don't need this 4 and x as right here as a power, as a variable right here as exponent, yeah? So let's try to bring these as a product, so as a result. If you know a little bit about natural log, we can easily write it as natural log x to the fourth equal to natural log 3 to the x, yeah? We just apply natural log on both sides right here and right here and for what we do this of course we need to bring this for right here this is a really great uh, property with natural log and as a result we have four natural log but with really important moment x can be positive can be negative so we need to put absolute value equal to x natural log natural log 3 so it's really great right now we don't have any powers we don't have any exponent in the power and what are we going to do next Let's try to group our constant and our variables. Of, okay, let's do this uh, variables on the left hand side and constant on the right hand side. Okay, first of all, let's bring these four to the right hand side. And for this, we need to divide both sides by four. If we divide both sides by four, we have natural log absolute value x equal to x natural log three and divided by, by four. So we cancel this from, from left hand side and we bring these to our right hand side. We divide in both sides by four. Right now, we still have this x right here, so let's divide both sides by this x, because we need this x as a variable on the left-hand side. As I told before, we group variables on the left and constant on the right. So, natural log absolute value x over x equal to natural log 3 over over 4. Okay? Okay. So right now, let's try to solve it, but this is not like an easy expression, because we have natural log right here inside of this natural, we have x inside this natural log, which is really hard, and x in, as our, in our denominator, so it's really hard to solve it by inspection, and for this question we need to know about Lambert W function. This is really important uh, function, and it helps us a lot to solve this question, but a lot of students have difficulties with this, uh, with this function, so I wanted to, to record this video with this uh, question once more, I want you to learn this function, but saying in simple word. For example, imagine you have expression like that, a times e to the power a. Just, just imagine you have something like that, where a is whatever you want expression, doesn't matter. Cosine, sine, square root, doesn't matter, whatever you want expression, complicated, not complicated. If you apply lambda w function from this expression, it is equal to our a. Yeah, which is which simplifies us a lot. So just if you create this expression, you can apply Lambert W function and you will have like really great answer, only our A. Okay? And let's try to create this expression right here in, instead of this nature log absolute value x over x. Let's try to create something like that. Let's try to simplify this, okay? But how can we do this? First of all, we need to start with positive uh, solutions, because right here we have absolute value. So let's go with positive one, yeah? When x is positive one, we have like nature log x over x equal to nature log 3 over 4. Let's start with this. And let's try to create Lambert W function right here in this in this case. Let's do this. First of all, we, we need to have e. How can we do this? Let's let's look at it. We have x and we can easily write this x as e to the power natural log x. So instead of x, let's write this expression e to the power natural log x. It is absolutely the same. e and natural log we can easily cancel. So as a result, we have the next natural log x in our numerator. Instead of our x, we write e to the power natural log x, yeah, and equal to natural log 3 over over 4. Okay, okay, right now, let's try to bring these from our denominator to numerator, because right here we don't have any fraction. We have a product, so let's try to bring this element from our denominator to our numerator. But how can we do this? First of all, we need to know that if you bring from numerator to denominator or in another way, you need to put minus right here. And let's do this. So we have like natural log x 
so the same expression as right here, times e to the power minus nature log x, because we're bringing this from denominator to numerator, equal to nature log 3, nature log 3 over 4, okay? I want you to explain, I explain for this for you step by step, I just want you to understand this lambda double function, because a lot of questions about it, and I want you to practice this, because this is a very great uh, function. Okay, what we're going to do next, take a look closely, we have nature log x and right here minus nature log x, so it's not like the same a, right here we need to have the same elements, this a and this a, but right here we have like nature log x and opposite, minus nature log x, that's what we need to do, of course we need to multiply both sides by minus 1, if we multiply both sides by minus 1, we can easily see this Lambert W function, we will we'll have like minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x, equal to minus nature log 3 over over 4. So as you can see, we just multiply on both sides by minus, it appears right here, and of course right here we have as well this, this minus. And right now, take a look closely. For example, this is our a, then minus nature log x, it is the same a. So as a result, we can easily apply Lambert W function from this expression, and from this expression as well, we, can, we need to apply this, because we need to do this from both sides, of course on the left and on the right hand side. As I told before, <coughs> Lambert W function from this expression equal to our a. Imagine minus nature log x, log x equal to our a, then Lambert W function from this expression, from this whole expression, give us only a, as I told before, in this uh, definition of Lambert W function. So minus nature log x we have equal to Lambert W function of minus nature log 3 over 4. As you can see, very uh, like we simplify this a lot because right now we don't have any e nature log. Two times we have only minus nature log x, which is really great because on the on the right hand side this is our our constant. Yeah, this is our constant. Okay, but how can we find our x using like school knowledge exponent uh, power rules right here? We can easily bring this minus right here as mi x to the power minus 1 and take e base of e on both sides. This is really great trick right here, because you can easily write it as e to the power nature log x to the power minus 1 equal to e to the power Lambert W function of minus nature log 3 over 4. So we just take base of e on both sides and we bring this minus right here. So what I, what I did right here, what I did. Okay, right now, e to the power nature log x, we can easily cancel in our minds, because this is equal to 1, and as a result we have x to the power minus 1. And of course for that I, I do this, uh, did this trick, so x to the power minus 1 equal to e to the power Lambert W function of minus nature log 3 over 4. On the right hand side, don't be scared about this expression, this is like a constant, yeah, this is a constant, this is our variable, and the last step, x to the power of minus 1, we need to find our only our x, we don't need this minus, so we just need to bring this to our, to our denominator. So as a result, our final answer to this question, we have like x equal to 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus nature log 3 over 4 and this is our this is our final answer but one really important moment right now I'm, i i give you these uh, roots right here because i find this exact value to this question and one really important moment this lambda w function sometimes have indexes right here so as a result this is for x positive as i told before x is positive right here and this is for x positive we will have two roots so from here we will have two roots x first equal to equal to 1.516 and x second equal to 7.174 this is when x is positive one but really important moment uh, i draw a graph right here let's do this i draw a real quick graph right here let's try to put these uh, roots on the graph so as a result we have x uh, to the fourth this is our parabola right here something like that and of course we have our our exponential function right here, right here, and as you can see, we will have, now I take my red pen real quick, so we have this function like that, we have this function like that, and we have our roots. First of all, we have x first, so right here we have our 1.516. This is our first root to this, fun to this uh, explanation. Second root, 7.174. Uh, so as you can see right here, these lines intersect, in this point and we'll have the second root, so right here we will have the second root, 
174. But one really important moment, as I, as I told before, we have two roots when x is positive, but as you can see right here, we have the third point of intersection. And where can we find this root? Of course, we need to solve the second case when x is negative. And right here, this is your homework, you can easily practice your, your Lambert W function, because using absolutely the same step, step, you need only to put minus x right here. And if you put minus x, you will have absolutely the same step. Maybe you will have minus right here and plus right here. And as a result, your x3 I write it to you to I want you to check it uh, at home you will have like minus 0.02 so as a result right here we will have minus minus 0.802 so you can easily check check your answer with this with this graph so this is this is for you to check of course we solved it we solved only positive this is for you to practice to check your Lambert W function. So this is my solution to this problem. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.